What's up, Dragon Nation? I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode, we got ourselves into space. This episode, what we need to do is we need to get some basic production up and running. That means a basic assembler, a basic refinery, so we can get some resources to uh, start actually building bigger. We still have a lot of stuff to do here in space, and it's going to take quite some time, but let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, so I got a bunch of stuff crafted up. I did a little bit of digging on my own, got a bunch of stone. Uh, it should be enough to last us a little while, but we'll have to see. So, one problem that we are going to have is this is all I can make with the survival kit. The, the biggest problem is I don't have everything that I can make with solar, or solar panels. Or that I can make solar panels with. I think we're going to be missing large steel tubes, but what I'm hoping is as long as I get the other components into the solar panels, it will weld up enough to where we can actually use it. Also, another thing is... Let me see if I can find it. I added mods. I added actually a bunch of mods. Can't remember what all I added, but the link to the collection. I had to think of the word there for a second. But yeah, the uh, link to the description of all the mods that I have are going to be down in the description. So go ahead and check that out so you can see what mods I'm using. Uh, so what we want to start out with is we need a platform, first of all. And then at some point we are going to need solar panels, which I already have down there. Then we're going to need a basic refinery and let's see if we can find the basic assembler. There it is. I haven't used this in a while, so this should be interesting. Also, one of the most important mods that I actually did add that we're going to test out because I've never actually used it is smart rotors. They actually point towards the sun. So if we have sun rotations uh, turned on, which I don't think I have it turned on right now. The problem I was having was with episodes, there just wasn't enough light to show anything and you guys were having a hard time sh uh, seeing anything. But I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and turn that on here at some point. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get these rotors set up, see how they work out. I haven't tested them, I haven't used them, but we'll just have to see. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab some steel plates. First thing we're going to need is a platform. Let's just grab all of them. And I need to figure out where I'm going to set it up. So where's my hole? There it is. I think probably the best thing to do is kind of set it right underneath the ship right here. And just work our way out that way. You know what? Since we do have a Rotor mod? Come on, turn. There you go. I think what I should try to do is line... Come on. Line this thing up with the... Jesus. The controls are just killing me right now. Try to line this up with the lowest point, which is probably going to be this uh, the crater edge right here. If I could get the damn controls... There we go. That will be good. That will be fine. Screw it. We'll put it right here. And then we'll just extend the platform. It won't be too big. Really all I need right now is the refinery, the assembler, and a spot to put solar panels. Which I have to figure out how many I need first. Now the way we figure that out is once we get the uh, basic assembler and refinery set up, we can go ahead and go into the control panel and see just how much power they actually use. And then we could divide that by how much uh, the, how much power the solar panels actually create to give us how much we're actually going to need. Now, of course, everybody gets upset at me when I try to do that stuff in my head because I'm always wrong. Because doing math in your head for me is hell. So I'm going to go ahead and get out a calculator at some point so we can figure figure out how much power we're actually going to need. All right, let's go one more. Screw it. I am going to need a bigger platform at some point uh, once we start getting into heavy production. 
but there might also be another problem that we're going to come across somebody did tell me in the comments that they are not able to find uranium on asteroids that i might have to go to the alien planet to find them which is gonna suck that's gonna suck hard oh jesus if so i'm gonna have to figure that out but we'll see i still have to go to all the asteroids try to find all the resources that we're gonna need but for the short short uh, for the short term english i'll get it sooner or later but yeah for the short term we're gonna go ahead and try to use solar panels as much as possible uh, so once we get the basic assembler and basic refinery up and running uh, next thing I'm going to need is batteries for that power so when I figure out power usage I'm not only going to have to figure out how much uh, how many solar panels I'm going to need to run the refinery and the assembler I'm also going to have to figure out how much I'm going to need to recharge the batteries that one should be fun so the point is let's go ahead and go to the inventory i need to get some production up and running uh we're gonna need a ton more steel plates let's actually say a thousand i'll probably have to get a little bit more how much do i have iron there you are uh, i might be able to make a thousand i might have to get some more we'll see all right so here's what we need to do the location that we're at right now is not half bad. I could put the solar panels right here on the edge going straight up. So I will actually have uh, <coughs> So I will actually have alignment to the sun all the way back over there. So it's not going to be as bad as on a planet. So we will have sun... Which way is the sun rotating? That's a good fucking question. Hold on. Alright, so we're going to look at the Earth, and right there you can see the line of where the equator is. So it looks like the sun is going that way. And then at some point it's going to be behind the planet, which is going to suck. The so one thing I do need to figure out is how long are we going to have sun? Because we're going to have to use batteries when it is nighttime or when it's dark. And I need to figure out how long it's going to take me to recharge those batteries so that way we can get through the night. It's a little bit of math, but I think I can get it figured out. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the steel plates. I don't know what all we're going to need for the basic refinery and assembler. And if I remember correctly, I don't think I'll be able to connect them either. Let me see, where are... Does this really have one? Oh yeah, that's right, it only has one access, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to do this by hand at first. So let's go ahead and put that right there. I just wanna make sure that it's out of the way for future building. Now, I probably... No, I think we'll do it by hand for, for the time being. If I need to, I could go ahead and move stuff. But yeah, I'll get sorters and everything else set up. So we'll just put it right there for right now. Now, now let's see what... Alright, so we need construction motor, computer, construction motor, computer display. I think I should have all that crafted. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Alright, so... Computer, construction, motor... Yeah, I'm going to need more motors. And display. Now comes the fun part. Trying to figure out how many solar panels we're going to need and where to set that up. Let's see. Where is the center? I think we'll put it right here. I do need to build up just a little bit so that way... The solar panels can move and I don't have to worry about them hitting the asteroid because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a ton of solar panels one of the reasons I really hate solar panels is you just need so many of them to do anything 
All right, let's go ahead and go into the control panel, see how many we're going to need. So if we look at it right now, max required input is how much power is required when the refinery is actually refining materials. That is 330 kilowatts. The basic assembler is 280 kilowatts. Energy low. Whoops, my energy is low. All right, so let's try to do this in our head. So 280 is 5, 6, 10. So what we're going to need is 610 kilowatts. First things first, though, I need to go ahead and get one solar panel built right now because I forget how much they actually produce. So what I'm going to do real quick. Oh, there's one more thing I'm going to need. Hold on. Uh, when we go to the rotor, I am going to need which one? Which one do I use? I think it's this one because it has a little sundial. I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that one. Then I'm going to need the solar support. And what I could do is I could just extend this as far as I need to go. I also need to keep in mind how how long is the solar panel? I think it's four, but I'm not 100%. Two, three, four, it looks like. All right, solar panel is four long. So what I want to do is I want to leave enough room in case I want to add a little bit more because I probably will have to. So need a little bit of room for movement. So we'll say one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that will be far enough. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, that should be high enough. Let's go ahead and put down the rotor real quick. Well, that didn't sound very good. But yeah, we need to go ahead and get this thing. Does it have two heads? Oh no, it's just the one head. Solar hinge part type B. Okay. All right, so we are able to, oh, except for large steel tubes. God damn it. Well, let me go ahead and get all this stuff together. We'll get a solar panel up and running and see if this is even going to work out. All right, so I'm grabbing a little bit of power, but I did run into a problem that isn't too much of a problem. I actually got kind of lucky. Let's see, and I'll show you real quick. So the base of this rotor actually requires uh, large steel tubes and unfortunately I wasn't able to get this thing completely welded up to the point where it would actually work without the large steel tubes. Luckily we had a large <laughs> hydrogen engine or thruster that actually had I think 10, 10 large steel tubes on it. I think these do too. Yeah, each one of these has two, so that's another eight if I do need them. But now what I need to see is what's it going to take to run the solar panel? I think that one takes large steel tubes too. Uh, no. Maybe not. I guess I was wrong. But it does take bulletproof glass, which I'm pretty sure we can't make yet. If I could get, come on. Stop moving. Man, they keep changing the thrust in the game. It's pissing me off. All right. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't make glass, but I'm hoping that with the solar panels or the solar cells, it should be enough to get this thing working. Now, the rotor hasn't turned yet because it has no power. So, obviously, that thing takes power to work. I guess that makes sense. All right, is it going to work? Oh, it does. So now it's going to work, but the rotor isn't working. Oh, there it goes. It just needed it a second. All right, it's still, it's still trying to figure out where it needs to go. And there we go. We have a connection of four, four lights on. That means we have 100% alignment with the sun. 
All right, so now this is where the uh, math will come in. So let's go ahead and go to the control panel. Let's see how much solar powers give us, or solar panels. So max output right now is 159.87. So what I need to do is I need to do the math. Let's see, how much power does this take? Well, it doesn't say. I'm hoping not much. But yeah, it's time for me to do a little bit of math. I'm not going to do it in my head because I don't want to piss anybody off. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So one thing that is actually great is they changed how much a solar panel, how much power a solar panel gives you. It used to be a lot less. But now they give a little bit more. So right now, it looks like to get this running, all we need is four at the moment. Which is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But we'll have to see how that works out once we get the uh, real refinery because I think the actual refinery takes a little bit more and so does the assembler. Also, we're going to have multiple of them. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe since they change solar panels a little bit, we might be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely try to go as far as I can with the solar panels. But I definitely, at some point, want to try to get... Okay, 32 per. So I'm going to have to make more solar panels. A lot more solar panels, or solar cells. So yeah, I'll try to get as far as I can with the solar panels, but I don't think we're going to be able to get too far. But we'll see how it works out. And uranium, if I have to go to an alien planet, I think next episode what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to craft ourselves up a miner because there is one other mod that I did add. I, I added a lot, but the really important one is this. This is the azimuth ore detector. And it looks like now they have four different types. Okay, that one's space only base only oh I know why he did that what is this nanite factory ore detector oh nanite factory is one of the other things I added I'll probably be adding that at some point but it has an ore detector now wow okay so yeah the problem we had back in the day with the azimuth ore detector is when it's on planets it creates a lot of lag a ton of lag. You can't fly a ship if it has this detector on it. So I think that's why he has different types now. One for a planet and then one for space. But yeah, what I need to go ahead and do right now, we need to go ahead and get some more solar cells crafted up. I got 56, which is enough for like one and a half more. So I need to get a few more crafted up. So let's see. We're going to need a whole lot. Oh, and I'm out of stone, too. Damn it. Hopefully, I should be uh, should be able to make a few of those. What do I need for those? Nickel and silicon. So we might be good. I, I think I still have a little bit of that. So I might be able to get those sol uh, solar panels done. Then we can go ahead and start crafting or processing resources with the basic refinery and basic assembler. So I need to go ahead and get everything welded up. That includes the platform and all that. And once we get that done, we need to figure out what the next step is. There are going to be a lot of steps. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work up here in space, but we'll get it figured out. All right, now that we have the basic refinery and the basic assembler set up, we can go ahead and make some of the other components that we are going to need, like power cells. Uh, that way I can go ahead and make some batteries. The only thing I'm not seeing... Yeah, I'm not seeing any... Oh, no, there they are. Medical components. So, what I want to do is here pretty soon, we're going to go ahead and break down this ship. But before I could do that, I need... I need a spawn point, man. I'm going to need a place to get power. I'm going to need a place to get oxygen. Uh, so, we're going to need a med bay. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and set up the system that I had on the planet. Uh, it's just a basic setup. 
it just has a little bit of sorting in it it's one refinery one assembler and then a bunch of cargo oh yeah there's an auction generator on it and then a med bay or medical room whatever it's called now so what i need to do is i need to go ahead and get that built i'll probably do that on my own real quick uh it's not any different than the one i'm going to be doing on the planet except instead of using wind turbines we're going to be using solar power uh shouldn't take me too long maybe an hour or so but yeah once i get that up and running then we need to figure out how much power that's going to draw and figure out how many solar panels i need to add for that i'm hoping it's not going to be too much but yeah i guess we'll have to see then at some point we do need to get batteries and we need to figure out how many solar panels we're going to need to be able to charge those within the time limit well as long as we have sun so that way we do have some sort of power that's more math that i'm going to have to do i'm going to have to figure out how many batteries i'm going to need for the whole system too but first i need to figure out how long we're actually going to have daylight huh but anyways let me go ahead and get this let me make sure i don't have anything left in this thing because once i get a medical room i'm going to get rid of the ship yep i think it's completely empty except for the ice perfect so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and build this real quick i mean i've already done a video on it on the planet Energy so it's not going to be too much uh but the fun part is figuring out how many batteries we're going to need in order to run it in the night I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the sun rotation at uh, six hours probably which means we should have three hours of daylight and three hours of dark if if it was actually cut in half but it's not going to be we should have a little bit more Sun than we have darkness so if I set the uh, if I figure out how how many uh, solar panels I need to charge up the batteries in a three hours time while it's daylight i should be fine throughout the night but yeah let's go ahead and get the facility built and i'll figure out the difference in power and then we'll figure out how many batteries we're gonna need all right so there we are the sorting system is set up ready to go this facility is now made it a little bit simpler good thing about refineries and assemblers is they do uh, process resources a little bit faster so we should be able to get a lot of stuff done quicker than we did before so let's go ahead and figure this out I already did figure it out figured out how many solar panels I needed and how many batteries I'm gonna need let me let me check oh shit I don't have gravity yet that's one thing we also have to figure into our equation is how how much power does the gravity generator draw and I think it's like 567 point something so if we go through everything the assembler at max output when it's processing is 560 kilowatts uh let's see what else yochu generator is 500 uh the refinery is another 560 and let's see what else i know there's more so assembler cargo Metal room doesn't draw power? Kind of figured it would. I always just assumed that the uh, metal room does draw power, but eh, I guess I was wrong. Uh, solar panels, I'm not sure. They do need power in order to work, but it doesn't actually show. And that one says incomplete. I don't know why. I'm going to have to look to see why that is. Uh, but yeah, if we keep scrolling down, let's see what else. We got the sorters so each one of these takes 250 watts now if i'm not mistaken the way it works out is 1000 watts is one kilowatt and 1000 kilowatts is a megawatt i think so i have four sorters so all together that would be 1000 watts which is one kilowatt so the power draw that we're going to have once we actually get the gravity generator is going to be 2188 depending on what the gravity generator draws but i think i'm right on that one not 100 percent 
So altogether, we are going to need for this facility right here is 13 solar panels. But I have 16, and the reason for that is, oh yeah, I gotta remember, I have no gravity. The battery, the max output for the battery is 12 megawatts. All we're gonna need is 2.1. So the battery is producing plenty of power. Now, the other thing we gotta keep in mind is how long that battery is gonna take to recharge. When I first built it, it said one hour with the solar panels that we have. So I think we should be good with the one battery and the 16 solar panels. Now, another thing you want to keep in mind is there is a current input right now with 100% uh, sun alignment. I am only getting 2.56 megawatts into the battery. Uh, the max input for a battery is 12 megawatts. So I have a little bit of leeway. I could add a few more solar panels. But another thing we need to keep in mind is once I add the gravity generator, it's going to drive more power and this number is going to go down, which causes the recharge to go down as well. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to add a lot more solar panels. Because another thing we have to keep in mind is if we use ships with batteries, we're also going to need to recharge those as well. So I think what I'm going to do is add, I should have room for another 16 solar panels because we're not done with the station. We still have a whole lot more to add to it. Uh, let's see if I can remember the system. We do have... Do I have a programmable block? No, I don't. Uh, we are going to be using one script, at least one script. And if it's working, hopefully it is. It's called Taladin's Inventory Manager. Uh, the good thing about that is I will be able to automatically set assemblers to uh, craft to a quota, which will make things a whole lot easier and a lot faster. So what we're going to need is we're going to need same thing we had on the planet I know I'm just rebuilding the same stuff but it works well we're gonna need 10 refineries uh, 20 21 assemblers no 21 22 23 25 assemblers my bad so that's gonna be a lot of power which means at some point I'm gonna have to add more solar panels anyways so we're definitely going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and add another 16 solar panels to this thing. So that way when we do start getting a larger facility, we should have enough power for that. Hopefully. But we'll figure that out. So yeah, we actually got a lot of work done. We got ourselves a nice little processing facility. I no longer need uh, this ship so I can go ahead and grind it down. Uh, to get the gravity generator, there's a couple things that we are going to need. Gold and cobalt, which I haven't been able to find. Fortunately for the medical room, I we did have the silver that we found on this asteroid from last episode. So I was able to use that to make the uh, medical room. If I didn't have the silver, I pretty much would have been screwed. But I think we're good. So I need to go out and I need to... Look, look for resources on the asteroid. So I think what we're going to be doing next episode is we're going to be building a mining ship. Now, all the mining ships that I've built in the past use reactors. And we're going to have to use batteries. I'm going to have to kind of change up the design of my miners just a little bit, maybe. And we'll see how that works out. But yeah, as for this episode, that's about all the time I have, so make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.